Well, I was just gonna tell you guys how I bottle honey. I uh, probably told you in the past, maybe showed it in the past, but it's been a while. So I'll make a new video about it. This is how I do it as a one-man show. Um, get my bottling bucket filled up, set on the edge of the counter here to where I can then sit with a chair right in front of it. <coughs> I grab a flat of jars, pop all the lids off, and rack all, stack all the jars right there where I can grab with my left hand. And then I'll grab one, get one under the valve, crack the valve open, start filling the jar, and then hold it in my right hand. Well, actually, I guess I'm still holding my left hand until it fills up. And then I'll close the valve, let it drip, and then pass it to my right hand. And as I do, I'll grab another empty jar with my left hand and get it ready so I can catch underneath the drip so I won't drip any honey on the floor. And then once I do the whole flat of jars, then I go around and stand on the other side and take all the lids that are here, all the empty jars, like that, and just lids back on the jars, back in the same flat it came in. That's how I keep it stored in the closet, just in the same flat I bought it in. You know, I know there's obviously all sorts of fancy machines out there to help bottle honey, but I do a bucket as needed, and I normally bottle up a flat of half pints, a flat of pints, and a flat of quarts, and it works out just about perfect with five gallons that I end up with about a half of a quart jar that's got the half full left, but the rest of them all get filled. So it works really good to, to bottle up three flats. But the best part that I was going to show you, of course they all scattered, my baby's here, because they can't help it, they got to have some honey. So I had a little bowl like dogs, and they were all just sitting around the bowl on the floor eating, of course, now they're going to take sticky honey fingers everywhere but anyway works for me you know it's not super efficient but it works and I can get it done while the kids are playing and uh, I only have to do this you know maybe maybe once a month when I do this it takes me an hour total to set everything up tear it all down so it works